the voice notes is all a mess on the internet so no cannot just get up and beat the man me see some people with us them have sense we have internet account we say them are influencer with the by internet so often come and across the prime minister we across the prime minister over we're not there that the stage there yet we're not at that stage if we reach that stage then now then we can say but you can't just jump and say oh he might try to shut up everybody no 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 i not say it work you you gotta understand all right, I have to do this TikTok thing. Hold on, where you go? Where you have to do like a puzzle to make the life continue. Once you turn on your camera, once you turn on your camera, in this day and age, you're broadcasting to the world. It's no longer Jamaica. It's no longer if you're in Japan or whatever. It's the whole world. So you have to take some responsibility for what you broadcast. So if me I go come and me I go say, yo, that man they annoy me, me can't take for ear advice or whatever, that's cool. But if me I go come and me go say, that man they rape like a pitney, me can't do that. You can't do that. And the man not do that. That's wrong. So the internet is just the wild, wild west. And you cannot just sit around and just let it happen. And then we have to take into consideration from what from my observation let me tell you what i've seen since this whole thing with the water issue that i got involved in i have watched the opposition use my voice my content without my permission to throw blows at the government yeah so it is dangerous both ways so if the government is using misinformation for, polit for political gain, it's dangerous. So Andrew has to also pick the beam out of eye and know that so they're not innocent. That's why the people them have a, that's why I say, me understand with the people them who have an issue with where I say, but we can't just jump down panim and things say done there. So no, because he have a valid point. He have a valid point, right? So, if the opposition are use it for political gain and no see a lie, are they not check, are they not care, or him I do it, I see him thing. I see him thing. So, you can't have two wrongs and things say it's got right at any point in time. It, it just no work like that. So, you know, we have to contend with that. Um, yeah, like, see, somebody had put up one, one um, stupid comment here. This is what I'm saying. I've been the victim of these things too, so I understand, you know? And it's just, it's it's weird for me, like, for somebody to just get up and just make up something and say, um, oh, you did that or you did that. I mean, I'll answer to nobody. I mean, I'll remove a comment either. Me just, I use it as an example for showing somebody on TikTok and send me one, um, one question. You go do your running investigation and find that out, man that you need to do so yeah there is there is some validity in the prime minister's statement um but he has to make sure that his house is clean and that is the problem that the people are having the people know that their house is not clean the people know so they you know some people just lose them cool right away as him come with that and say oh you know me no why you're not in front of him or whatever whatever but no we have to pay man and pay attention to some of this stuff like for example this person asking me this stupid question wouldn't be in no problem because he asks a question and i like in company internet and i tell me say me do that and even if he tell me me not really care but some people it can be something damaging like that not damaging to me but if it's something really damaging it can affect people's job it can affect them life it can affect you know so yeah we gotta be careful we have to be careful we have to be careful we can't just lose funny internet so on and people you have a lot of dumb stupid people like this one on tiktok who crave these things so there's a demand for it the mess and the lies and the the whole jamaican 
yo that style is just so low but people they for it let me say you have one idiot on my tiktok right now um asking me something about a rumor from like maybe 13 years ago and expects i'm gonna answer like you need to go do your research bro find out for yourself yeah and even if um you you do that like how does it benefit your life to interfere with people on the internet so that's why i cannot disagree with andrew with this announcement that he made and no one should because he, all right even this person now what if i just start to say things about the person off the tip of my tongue which i don't even know and you believe it because you know you know i listen to me i don't like my thing so now go listen to me i know i go cuss him for me to one say i'm baron ready boy and you know what i mean no it can't it can't be allowed for people just run free on the internet and do these things and tell the lies and some may agree and it's a worldwide thing it's nothing that the prime minister is inventing all we have to do is be careful right so you're careful where you put out and you make sure that whatever someone says about you if it's a lie you know you have the truth so you don't really worry about data you know and you can't follow up everything on the internet either the prime minister Nango can't catch everything but he also has a responsibility just like we who come and use it we have a responsibility too so that's when we are going to beat andrew we sure about ourselves when we are going to beat people who interfere with we life or tell life on me or whatever we sure about ourselves we big and brave and bold about it i'm a little bit not so bad but it's all right. It take a whole heap thing. Mm. I know skin never fall off. Still they are the same way. So yeah, me, me think say we have to give that something there a chance. And the people that we are cussing me, as of my people that we are cussing me, I can't believe. No, the one thing when me I got to say, when me agree with some of the people that come out against it. Well, not against it, but they are saying, what about? Yes. They ask some valid question. Like, what about the prime ministers um uh what you call it is income information that they have been asking for hmm? what about that what about the illicit six what about that what about the money them were missing from royal read time till now we are here say how much billion in a health ministry so the people you see because them house not clean that is why the people are not um listening even when it makes sense this is what happens to leaders who are involved in corruption and who just not deal with the people i'm straight so any time come now where them i go talk something will make sense the people them i go view it from all different angles because your house not clean brother the people them have problem with you take your wife down house speaker even though the opposition never oppose it i wonder why for them purpose the people them have problem with your big old mansion where you build where them i wonder where you get money from for do it all of a sudden the people them have problem with the fact say money are coming to the country and in a put in at the proper thing them like healthcare, infrastructure education speaking of education that's my next topic before i go to the last topic tonight in amber joyce news and reviews is education anyway andrew here we make the people them a beat you know with the media something here where you say you are cracked down pan they must say you not tell me about your statutory declaration as where somebody just put you not tell me about the illicit six you're not calm now we fears about the money them we are thief meanwhile people are suffer if you buy food at jamaica we don't see the place are built up. We are fear quarrel, but forget water in a pipe. You still have some 1931 lead pipe. I feed the people them out of pies and have them brain. You still have import food fraction in that beer, GMO, beer, empty calories, beer, creating the dunce bats of the future. Because if your food is not nutrient packed or nutrient dense, then your brain doesn't build from an early age. And yes, you're going to have a generation of dunce bat who can't understand not what teacher teach them who can focus for learn and retain knowledge because you never build them brain cell then you have too much dry food and bun and cheese drink too much box drinks and syrup none of them something they not give kids nutrients 
pitney for breastfeed for six months or more get colostrum and get them brain start and after you start them brain then you start feed them food will make sense sweet potato pumpkin organic chicken if you want chicken me not tell nobody don't eat chicken me not tell nothing me just as a careful guy chicken ready they know terrible you know see man never bust breasts food is a big thing lots of jamaicans have protruding bellies because their colon need to be clean now if your colon isn't clean and your gallbladder and all these important organs all your brains start get affected parasites affect your brain all type of thing and if you're walking around with a lot of doo-doo in your belly because that's what it is then you don't think worm i got in there too worm in there the worm them literally attack on no nutrients and suffer on a brain on a deficient so if we can't even understand the basics by the way diabetes and high blood pressure kill off the people them left right and center if we cannot understand the basics of eating and how it affects the people and how the people don't trust the prime minister and trust anything that the politicians say if we can if we can understand that if him can understand that can me understand it me know why the people are fighting even though me na quarrel about it right now because me not see what him say it you know him go muzzle we are we not see no paperwork for say oh it gonna affect me in a negative way are you who use the internet he is saying it needs to be curbed and i agree but how you go curb it you can't come tell me say you you promote vaccine me can't say vaccine no good i mean i take it you can't tell me that can me have proof the vaccine no good can kill off enough african children with the experiment eugenics is a terrible thing you can't come tell me if you can take birth control and put where sit near in my body because them think they mash up woman fertility and when woman want to get their husband pitney them can't have no pitney them infertile all 10 years them depend that for when them come off them mash up unless them go herbal unless them go natural them cannot get no pitney. You know, go tell me, say, me can't put that on the internet. When me know that for a fact. Say, contraceptive not even get no research. Them just dash it on the people. Them because they want them to breed. I know not tell people, say, people figure breed again. Because no pitney now nah, ban more and so. So, that is the contrast that is happening. People are afraid that these restrictions are going to affect truth but if you're not telling lies you don't have to worry and if it is that the prime minister comes with something that is going to affect your freedom of speech that is what we will have to resist but going on there right now and cussing him about what him said don't make no sense and the only people that more make me, me say, yeah, thumbs up. I don't want to ask the right questions. Because we've been asking questions of the Prime Minister forever. Sometimes they ignore it. Sometimes they cannot ignore it because it's loud and it clears that everybody wants to know. So we want to know about the illicit six. We want to know about the statutory declaration. These are the information that he must put on the internet. Right? We want to know all the things. Then what do you, how much billion dollar Miss Nota Tufton, um ministry want to the the all of the money them too much money miss nanda the government here yeah, that is a problem we need reports we need these things we need for no one so until them can act right and get them house in order the people them now go trust them the people them just like a cost them run them nobody now reason it out like me <laughs> people them a beat on your bad wicked right now and lying with the media something yeah but me just i said to the people them for a voice of reason as a voice of reason let us see what he comes with because the truth is if something on the internet is so egregious that it affects my character my name and who i am then i'm gonna want to have protection for that if it is it whatever he's coming with should say that they cannot label something misinformation because the government doesn't have all the information. I'm sure they don't know half of what I know about herbs. They don't know half of what I know about vaccines either. And yet they are promoting it. You understand? They promote a lot of things which is not good for you. They're still spraying the place with the toxic mosquito spray which gives asthma. 
there's so many things they still use Roundup. Rada uses Roundup, and all the farm stores sell it. And Rada is, uh, I can't even talk about Rada. I'm so pissed off about what Rada represents. Them bringing GMO in a Jamaica, your big old pop chow and your big old carrot them and sitting them nag you know nutrients in your body just like a mash you up. So, the, so that's why the people them do have confidence in what the prime minister say. And as me say, me not, me not like be quick, you know. Me talk to my daughter enough time before me slap her up. <laughs> so me not slap up Andrew yet. <laughs> Andrew, me not going to beat you. Me don't have no leather belt ready for you. Me, me good. Because me know one seminar spread misinformation on the internet. A lot of these people are on the internet. They full of hate. They're going after each other with the lies and the mess and the talking about this one life and that one life. and They're gross. A lot of people on the internet gross and disgusting. Their discourse is totally disgraceful. And they do character ass assassinate people and tell lies on people which stick and lies on people which other people believe. Even if it's not true, it's already out there. And who's going to track them down? Right? Somebody say, I feel them alone is not in misinformation. No, sir, it's two sides. We know. Say misinformation. If them see it, I go on and it benefit them, them now stop it. So I say, wow, uh -uh. no. You understand? Somebody say, him spread the biggest misleading information. I will not see that. So, so that's what me I said. Them, I forget them house in order. When them come out make sure them information correct so that whatever them are put in place don't end up catch them can you imagine how them are gonna get catching at their own net because enough lie they ain't telling you remember say prime minister thought no foolishness in a corona to you know remember say remember say when say vaccine come from when say vaccine come from again <laughs> where prime minister did say coronavirus vaccine come from anybody can type it in the chat Come in and I say it, Brawley. No one will tell me. Where did the Prime Minister say that the coronavirus vaccine came from? When he was in a TV interview with a lady, he said it came from somewhere or someone. Who it came from? <laughs> so you see, even when they have good arguments and good conversation, the people are like, hold up, but you lied to us. You gave us misinformation. So fix that, Andrew. So that the law can benefit people like me. So when people come tell life on me, me can defend myself. But me now come by and come tell no life. They have to expose me. See, somebody put it there. God. He said the vaccine was from God. <laughs> Rory, what one? Rory, what's up? Me not get no power for you. From when? Hmm? How long no me not get no power for you, bro? My mother says, Minister of Health during COVID time got so much money for Jamaica. Where is that money? Me say, money missing left, right, and center. So, Andrew, if you know where I do. You understand? Somebody else say, him did say, we can't sleep with the door open. I'll be ready if you do that, but <laughs> we can't do it. We can't do it. Me say, up to today, me left my kitchen door open. I want to push come in here, come rub my garbage pan. <laughs> so, imagine... Just imagine, you can't sleep with no window open all now, right? So, and that, the people them just not have no respect for the Prime Minister and for these politicians because we catch them in a so much lie, you know, and we see so much things where they tell we are not true and they avoid the real conversation so we can't actually get truth out of them, you know what I mean? So... And see one next idiot. I know these are the next set of idiots where always accompany me live. Even when they most send me a PMP. You could run the live back, all right? Where your name Q? Run back the live and see what me did I say before you start judge me here. Cause I'm not even like PMP. I wish my land me come from an a PMP place and from me did they grow. I see your PMP deal with the place shabby. Me never like them. Me never like PMP, my love. In case you're new to the thing. May I tell you, so anything this man say now, the people them nah to PM no mind because and they actually attack him. And me I say, what am I attacking for now? Me not really see what the Marcus Andrew for now, honestly. 
Because I don't like him say nothing way. Make you feel threatened as a person who um you know go come and talk truth. If you're a person who's spreading lies, maybe that's why some of them are squeal. Cause some of them when me see a squeal, them nah no business a squeal. Cause then the pan the internet a chat be a foolish every day. Them lie to like a Andrew. Them lie like a all who depend on their tell lie. Yeah, the Prime Minister did say the vaccine was from God. So if me saying that makes me a PMP, that's fine, Q. I'm alright. I'm good with that. Alright, Mama, go and vote for your labor right and your suffering where people are under right now. So, yeah, people, um, just be careful with your use of the internet. It, it's nothing bad that the Prime Minister said. It's good advice for us to use the internet responsibly and not hurt other people. Stop spreading lies and, you know. Yeah, and I really hope that he does take it serious, the backlash that he's getting right now. Because he is getting a big backlash for it. Um, I just don't see it as something to give a backlash for yet. If it's going to be necessary, we'll, we'll still see. All right, somebody say you're still at Aerie. Yeah, I'm going to go back to work for the same time. Same time with the incident in April. Mm -hmm. Somebody said you should lead that example. Absolutely, I agree with you. And as me say, for the statement, they hope Q see the statement. So does that make this person a PMP too? That to say that the Prime Minister needs to lead by example? You see, this is what happened with these stupid, die-hearted people who follow politics on both sides. Because they, they're delusional. The PMP people, them delusional. If you think that PMP are going to really make no big difference. And the jail people, them delusional. If you think that where them in and now make sense. Yeah, somebody else say it is from God. Yeah. So you need a bigger lie than that. You need more misinformation than that. That's like the biggest misinformation. That the vaccine was from God. I me, me could even believe when people did have said that when he did a go around, me never could have believed it till me watched the video. <laughs> so the man did I really say that. No, sir. No, no, listen to you see some people just stupid, you know. Sometimes I read them and I make them get upset. In say, um, this is somebody say, Andrew wholeness and you fish shut 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 the bleep up well you're not gonna get me to do that on my page that's for sure and i'm not gonna tell the prime minister to shut up either you know he, he means the prime minister so we just want to hold him accountable for do the right thing then that's all me i say and if people are post truth you can't come tell people say i misinformation but if them are post lie and misinformation something must be there to check that you know what i mean so junior you just sound stupid you're dumb anybody who can reason just dumb and stupid but me now go block your take care of your page me go and educate you a little bit um somebody said out the truth don't mind the hypocrite them but you're a pmp when you talk truth that's all them can say when you talk truth they say you're a pmp no you have to talk the truth no matter who in there I what them did they when me a beat PMP in there when them did in there. I couldn't turn them come and see what them I do. Eh, somebody said these people are crazy. Any law you put in, any law the government put in place that can affect your JLP or PMP. And some like a dumbass idiot, um, we are call it dieted politics fool them. Mm. Um, someone said there is disinformation and misinformation. There's a difference. Yes, that is true. That is true. But both of them would be bad for us. Disinformation and misinformation. Um, some things that just straight out lie. See, you don't like, there's no going around that. There's no going around. No, but, um, Junior Johnson, your opinion can't be for me to shut up on my own page. Go on your page and talk if you want to talk. Don't come on people's page and tell them, sh shut up. Go on Andrew's page, go tell him to shut up if you want to tell him that. But you don't come on my page, come tell me that. I thought I come here for talk. I never come here for be silent. I come do my news. I came to do my Amber Joys news and reviews, which my friends have been imploring me to do more of. 
How dare you? And I'm being nice to you right now. So your opinion matters zero. All right, people, time to move on to the last subject of the evening. This is something that I saw um, brewing over the last like two weeks um, on WhatsApp. In WhatsApp groups, I've been getting this message a lot from like other advocates and so on. And it concerns this um, this educational video. Um, I think it might be written as well. I haven't gone through it properly, but I have enough information to say that this thing that um, has been introduced in the schools through an alleged Canadian program or agreement. I think it was being snuck in on the people and the people realized quickly and we have to really commend the people. There's, there's a young lady, an advocate who was on Muta's program today talking about it and that she was so eloquent oh my god i think she's like maybe 13 or 14 i'm hoping to ha get her on my channel but the gist of the story is that this this thing this lesson is promoting gender blurring now it's been a while since this gender blurring is um seeping itself into jamaica and you see for the big Grey about people them who confuse about their gender. Me no response for them. Me no business with them. Some of them probably bond away. They have some type of half chemical half in at them. Or they think they're a man when they're a man. Think they're a man when they're a woman. All type of thing people go through. But them the big people there. Me no business with them. Hold on, our mother come. No, she's so where are my daddy? Call her for me. Oh, I miss him. Come. It's Malia's friend's birthday and we're going out for dinner. All right. So, the gender thing where the man try sneaking, I said to myself, say, if I think about it, you know, you see, then government and then people there, they don't care nothing about their own law as long as money involved. Cat walk one, bless up yourself. I reach back to England. <clears throat> Sorry, I never get to see you. The law of Jamaica don't support none of them. There's something there. Nothing in a will and have nothing to do with different gender from male and female. For will in Jamaica actually um, don't allow certain things. So, oh, them are bringing them thing here. I don't understand. Where you teach Pitney that for? Like it's a part of the requirement to get the money or what you go. When the next time me come, I go have every detail. But me they just have to come in and like, why? They want to force every country. America and Canada want to force every country. If you have mental illness on display. If you, if you, if you mash up with pitney them from early. Confuse up them brain. So if me want to identify as one tree. Me can say me is a tree and me go grow a leaf. Out of my ears all. It's madness. If you want to identify as a girl or a boy. Why you, why them a come with this in a Jamaica? Jamaica have a law against this type of thing. There is actually nothing to do with that in our present law. So what am I gonna do now? Tell we said them all bring one bill of parliament to include um gender blurring for kids. Kids like one and a get big dunce but idiot them when I know their gender, them book they for read. Like if big people them were done already and live their lifestyle and uh, have sex with who they want to have sex with what make a pitney on a bring them an idea to on a sexualize the pitney them andrew you need to go fix that now now take out that out high school them run with that we're not believing in a transgender nothing this is america or canada right now america and canada suffer with this foolishness europe has suffer with it but them leg of them mad people are power if you can't just tell you any friggin' foolishness. So when I could not keep it, there's a one I go with the pitney them. Why? You have a big man who motor refer to must be 50 odd year old. Say him identify as 14 year old. So it's a 14 year old girlfriend him want. No pedophile that. Hmm? No pedophile that. 
You want to identify as a pitney just so you can go sex pitney? What pitney have to do with them agenda something here? A little boy born with a penis is a boy. A little girl born with a vagina is a little girl. It decides before them come out of the belly. Unless you're a hermaphrodite, it's decided before you come out of the belly. Because when you just start to grow, it's undecided. You know that, right? There's just a little thing there. And as the baby grows, then it shows whether it becomes a penis or the vagina. This is sex education. So why do not have this gender conversation in the book for the little pity them? Where the education minister depend this? Who authorized this? Why every time they must sneak things by we and we have to go find out and come cuss afterwards? Forget them for the bother with it. Them want we sacrifice with life like the people them in Kenya for the youths of the future. The people them in Kenya have to go out and ball and cuss and kick down the parliament door and how much of them dead and get tear gas. Before the president sees that what he might do no right and withdraw the bill, what a wicked man him figure out prison. And we must just sit down and stand quiet. So here the last thing me are telling the people. Last thing me are telling you. There's a protest at the Ministry of Health tomorrow morning at 7.30. Go on out and support this advocacy group. I don't even know them name. I just like to support these things. There is a protest tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Go on out and support it, people. I'm going to do my best to be there. It's at the Ministry of Health. And it is in support of our youths. We don't want them learning this trans transgender madness. This LGBTQACDEF foolishness. We don't want it. It's actually illegal. So why them I put it in a school? No law, no support here. So how oh, it reach ya? Just because Canada want here. Andrew, what you do? Get this out right now, man. Call fearful and make sure you know, destroy all of them material, them, and get that out. We don't want the little pitney them to have the, the poor one. Them will go through it already. You don't need to give them therapy. Every pitney we see that already must get therapy in Jamaica. Provide counseling session for them. Because them, 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 them people are sick, man. Why you not do this to kids? Kids not have nothing to do with them. A pity they don't even know about them sexuality till them reach certain age when they're a teenager or whatever. You tell, tell your little daughter about period. You tell your little son about this, that, and the other. Come on! Uno got a agenda morphing, morphing this thing into who can be boy and girl and if you not feel like. and when, you, when your own laws in your country don't support any of this, so how did it reach in the school? So I'm going to support the protest tomorrow, people. If I get no info, if I look online and see it. And as usual, them something are not popular. This is not viral. It's not viral. So tomorrow, one protest, 7.30. Down a ministry of health tomorrow. To avoid these people from spreading their gender propaganda to the youths in Jamaica. And we feel just sit down and take it, sir. These are the things where the people need to go out in the street about. I'm going to look what happened in Kenya two days ago. Right? We're afraid, yes, we're afraid, we're afraid of this, we're afraid of that, we're afraid, but we're not afraid of our future, we the youths them don't even have. Where the parents them? Uno not concerned about this. Pick me and learn in a book about, about transgenderism and them something there in a Jamaica. Just because Canada put, put it in a something way. And you know, so, so we put them people there, we babsy there for protect the culture. We fear Williams there. And you take you over from them, because I like how you take over your water thing from it, you deal with it proper. And we there, you go and watch your progress, and the people, they get like water and the thing, and come and the pipe, and the answer. Take you over. Do the right thing, brother. Get rid of this foolishness out of school. We don't want to hear nothing about no gender, not no two gender there, male and female. And Jamaican law supports my conversation. There is absolutely nothing on the books to do with no gender this and that. And furthermore, the last thing I'm going to say, show now that I'm wicked. The thing is an electronic thing. I don't know if they have a written version, but it's an electronic thing. And you can click on a link in it, which leads you to one of these LGBTQ XYZ sites. They say if you need support and more information, sending our children on the internet to view this corruption. 
so that when they click on that link and go to that website, what do you think the suggestions are going to be? More sites like those. Why should the Minister of Enter um, Education be involved in this in any way? It's illegal. There's nothing that supports transgenderism and this lgbtq agenda in jamaica so why is it here let who want to hide and do it because everybody who involved in a bugger life is a hiding thing in a jamaica and them brawling on the internet to them a big people make them do what they want but with the kids how do we why we are do this to the kids it can't work people too much things are going wrong here so seeing so andrew better take it over pa deal with it papa please because tomorrow morning, the people that are going to protest on the Ministry of Health. Yeah. And I hope to be there as well. Charge up my device them and see what I can go on seeing. All right, people. Big up on yourself. I've been here for a little while. I'm going to go. We're kind of late for dinner, I think. So, that's it. Thanks for watching Amber Joy's News and Reviews. All right. I'm going to look at Team Sanfi. Put on my channel and thing when I'm ready. And, you know. All right. Big up on yourself, people. Thank you so much for watching. And we link up again. I right, don't know when. I don't know when. Look how long I'm not forward this time. Not true. <laughs> but I will. All right, guys. And I'm going to post the video, which has like a compilation of the videos and the reports to do with the water situation in Negril. And then I will just continue to compile content to put on the channel. And I'm getting ready to, to start the podcast. So, yeah stuff is coming up just be patient with me please because i yeah i don't want to be common on the internet like some of these people me sooner beat yo wanna beat them you know some of them miss said they deserve you know not beat out them wanna beat them bud you see it and i never want to be in that position like me just imagine mr somebody i said okay that's too enough i'm like no i'm not <laughs> So I don't ever want to be one of those people. So that's why I don't know see me come up, you know, come out so much. Like I'll just, I just like to be here when it's necessary. I may have something productive to add. So thank you guys so much for the support and for watching. Keep me in your prayers, as I said at the start, because I need it. Respect and love. Big up on myself and good night. All right. So me close off. In